Welcome back. Here's number 15, Walking Song. So now we're going to put our skills to the test using G, F sharp, and E. Pay close attention to not only where the notes are, but I also want you to follow the patterns from G to this note. Is it the same? Then go down, same, down, same, up. So this is something that I want you to look at when you're learning a new song for the first time. I know if you can follow along in your book, which you do, I believe, have this in your pink book that I gave you, you can also feel free to write in the notes. And a lot of you should have already done this with me in lessons, so this might just be a memory refresher. And here's the counting down at the bottom. Now the one and, to and, this basically is like a T, 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 T. So if you remember some of our rhythm lessons, you would know that there is a T, T inside of a ta. So when you're playing, it's still going to be one, and, two, and, three. Or if you just want to think one, two, three, four, that might be easier for you. But let's see what we've got. Feel free to slow it down if you need to. Here we go. Repeat. Excellent. Here is the background track. So you can probably tell why it's called walking song. Your fingers should feel like they're kind of walking across the fingerboard, you're going back and forth, and you also have less rests if you notice that. Great job.